Meghan Markle and Prince Harry leave Australia for New Zealand on last leg of royal tour? Almost there. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are almost through with their royal tour, as they departed Australia on Sunday, boarding a plane at Sydney Airport headed for New Zealand. The couple, who are expecting their first child together, happily waved goodbye to fans and bid farewell to Australian dignitaries, one day after attending the closing ceremony of the Invictus Games. Invictus athletes from New Zealand joined them on the three-hour plane ride to Wellington. Meghan stunned in a burgundy Hugo Boss dress, which she paired with a Q-Iana bag and a peach suede Aquazura Casablanca pumps she wore the night before. Harry, meanwhile, looked sharp in a black suit. Upon landing, Meghan and Harry will be greeted by New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern. The royals will then attend a traditional welcome ceremony on the lawns of Government House, the residence of the Governor-General to New Zealand, Dame Patsy Reddy. They've got a jam-packed day from there. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will lay a wreath at the Pukiu National War Memorial before meeting with Ardern and will attend a reception hosted by the Governor-General celebrating the 125th anniversary of women's suffrage in New Zealand. Meghan and Harry, who kicked off their royal tour on October 16, have toured Australia, Fiji and Tonga so far. New Zealand is the last stop on their tour before they're expected to head back to the UK. See more on their royal tour in the video below.